Hey friends, Sean from Draft Therapy here, and on today's review for you, this one is a force of nature. Gravitational Attraction is a 14.5% bourbon barrel aged Imperial Stout from Ellison Brewery and Spirits in East Lansing, Michigan. Before I get this review started, I just wanted to mention Noah Baker. Now, Noah's a driver for M4, a longtime driver for M4, a beer distributor here in Michigan. He had a seizure on October 30th, which led to the discovery of a cancerous brain tumor. Now, he's scheduled to have some surgery sometime this month. A few breweries are releasing what they're calling beers for Noah with proceeds, some of the proceeds going to him and his family just to help out. Now, Ascension Brewing Company has released Noah. Uh, Batch is brewing OPG, which is a milkshake double IPA. River's Edge is releasing one of Noah's favorite variants on their Dirty Frank. It's going to be called Noah's Dirty Maple. And Drafting Table and Ellison are working on some things too. So if you happen to see any of those beers for Noah, check those out. Or if you'd like to check out the family's GoFundMe, I'm going to link that in the description below this video. Uh, big thanks to Matt Jackson for bringing it to my attention. I saw Matt on Gorilla Juice Day. He kind of brought it up and I'd seen some things, but I just wanted to mention on this video because I figured, you know, it would get some kind of audience. I know the beer community is really tight knit and, you know, everybody always likes to help out. So I just wanted to kind of throw that out there. Now, this beer here today was released, I believe, in early October directly at Ellison. So I just another big thanks to Tyler from Review the Brew on YouTube. He gave me this can. Tyler used to live right down the road from Ellison, and he snagged this one for me. But we just got around to doing our kind of Christmas beer exchange. And I'm, you know, I've been just thinking about this ever since, and I'm ready to get down to business. Now, we're going to look at the label. We're going to get it into a glass. Fun fact, marshmallows were first created by Egyptians, they believe, around 2000 BC, and they became popular in the U.S. in the 1950s. We now buy about 90 million pounds of marshmallows every year. So there's not much to the can here. Looking at it, uh, the untapped description of this is our base Imperial Stout was laid down in old Weller antique barrels for nine plus months, then conditioned on copious amounts of marshmallow. Our malt profile supports huge flavors of dark chocolate met with a beautiful fluffy marshmallow vibe. Looking at the label though, it doesn't say anything like that. So it has like a, a white marble kind of background. It says Ellison, really plain font on the front of the can. On the back, it says gravitational attraction, bourbon barrel aged imperial stout with marshmallows. And then on the side panel, it says Ellison Brewing Company, 1.14.5% alcohol by volume, brewed and bottled by Ellison Brewery and Spirits LLC, East Lansing, Michigan. This is a 2019 can. There is no canned date information, nothing else on here. Just a real quick word about the labels. Ellison's starting to rebrand all their labels. They're starting to go with these. I feel it's kind of a step back. They're kind of going with a more plain label with these kind of gears on it. Ellison, if you're watching, I know that I'm. Th I, my theory is that they're moving into Indiana with their tap room. They're taking the Michigan State Capitol building off of the label. Ellison, if you listen to any advice from me, who I'm just some guy that drinks beer, <laughs> I would say keep the labels you have. Take the State Capitol building off if you don't want to just be a Michigan brand if you want to reach out, but I, I just think the new direction of the labels, I had to just say it, I, I don't think they're great. So anyways, enough about that. Let's go ahead and crack this. I've been really looking forward to trying this though. Tyler's been telling me about this for a while. He's been bugging me like all day today, the day I'm recording this to see if I'm gonna actually record it or not. Oh my gosh, this is like slight bourbon barrel kind of smell but it's a lot of vanilla, a lot of marshmallow aroma. Let's go ahead and pour this. Very dark out of the can. This is like, it's not totally black and opaque, but it looks pretty close. When I'm pouring it at this much of a of a kind of, you know, pour, that aggressive of a pour, you couldn't see through it. When I was a little bit slower at the beginning, you, uh, yeah, you could see through it. Just a tiny bit though. So I'm gonna put the gravitational attraction, the thing so you can see what it looks like. There's no head. Like a really small amount of head came up through that, not much. I can smell like this vanilla though, right from here. It's not even close to my nose. Now it is though. Lots of vanilla, lots of that kind of marshmallowy scent. I'm not really getting anything with marshmallow right now. There's, I'm not getting any kind of bourbon barrel or any kind of barrel at all kind of character to it. Let's hold it up to the light. That is super black, super dark. It looks a little thin on the edge. It's actually leaving this kind of yellowish 
uh, brownish mark around the glass, super dark. There was a little bit, I would almost think that's sediment, but I think they're bubbles. And that's like a very dark color, even through the bulb of the glass when I talk about that. Sometimes that's the best way you can tell what the color of the beer is or, or you know, like through a stout when they're dark black like that. But smells delicious. I'm ready to dive right in. Cheers. Wow. That mouthfeel is so smooth, so thick, so rich. That just, wow, I was not expecting it to be that syrupy thick. It's not syrupy like cling to your, well, it actually does kind of cling to my mouth a little bit. Really super thick, really super um, just rich. I'm getting, it's really nice and vanilla sweetness up front. I can tell you right now there's no, I don't pick up on any barrel quality. And on the finish here, I'm going to take another drink. But the thing that I'm really kind of just like stumbling over telling you is that on the finish is this roasty kind of like um, marshmallow open a over a fire kind of just flavor that just kind of sticks there. There's no burn. There's no maple. I'm sorry. There's there's no burn. There's no bourbon kind of alcohol burn. I keep saying in my head maple because I'm thinking this is maple barrel age for some reason, but. Wow. I'm just holding it in my mouth and letting it roll around. Now that I do that on the second taste, when I kind of let it, I hold a big amount, big quantity in my mouth and kind of roll it around. I do get right before the swallow on the back of my tongue. I do get a little bit more of a kind of uh, like bourbon barrel kind of flavor out of it. Um, I am getting a little bit of the bourbon, but it is so smooth. This is when I saw the can, I saw it said 14.5% alcohol by volume. I thought to myself, it's going to just be a big booze bomb, right? It's going to be really boozy, very, a lot of bourbon, but it's not, it's not like that at all. If I quit, take a quick drag and I just kind of swish it maybe once and swallow it, Mouthfeel is like heaven. I mean, this is like a really nice mouthfeel on a stout like this. It's just a really nice mouthfeel. That's that's my opinion. I, I just think it's a really nice mouthfeel. Um, but taking that that real quick hit, uh, drag and drink, there's not a lot of, there's not any of that bourbon kind of characteristic, but holding it. And kind of rolling it around on my tongue, kind of like letting it coat all the inside of my mouth. I get a tiny bit of the bourbon, a little bit of the barrel kind of character to it. Um, and then, but yeah, that, that aftertaste is just kind of like, it's almost like s'mores. It's almost like this roasted marshmallow with like almost this graham crackery kind of finish. I'm, maybe I'm just kind of adding that in myself, but it reminds me of, of a s'more. It has a lot of that vanilla. It has like a really kind of light chocolate note in there. Not, you know, like most because of the malts and stuff, you usually get kind of a chocolatey quality out of a stout. So I'm getting that chocolatey quality in there too, but I'm getting that marshmallow, big time marshmallow vanilla, and this almost graham crackery kind of flavor on the tail. I just really love that when I take a drink, this it leaves this kind of yellowish kind of um, layer on the glass. It's almost like every place I've drank so far has left this, the beer has left this kind of film almost on here and it's just leaving this i wish i could get a close-up so close that you could see this um but it when i swirl it like this it leaves like this brownish yellowish kind of just layer on the glass on the inside of the glass wow this is absolutely amazing and i'm really happy with tyler right now for sending this to me Gravitational Attraction, they do these, I think it's yearly. I don't know if they do it any more than a year, but if next time this is out, I will be going to, to Ellison to pick this one up. All right, friends, that has been Gravitational Attraction from Ellison Brewing and Spirits. They've got another event coming up in late January, so I'm looking forward to seeing what they have in store. They haven't announced what everything's going to be, but I'm going to be keeping my eye on it. So have you had this, or do you plan on checking out any of Ellison's releases? Let me know in the comments down below, and while you're down there, if you like beer, you might want to subscribe and click that bell, because I'm here talking about beer, 
twice a week on Tuesdays and Thursdays. It's all for free for viewers just like you, and you might miss your newest favorite if you're not subscribed. You can also reach out to me with any questions or any kind of comments on the Draft Therapy Hotline at 224-DRAFT-20. Also, check out in the, below in the description all the information about Noah's GoFundMe. So until next time, I'm Sean from Draft Therapy. Thanks for stopping by, and remember, drink craft beer, support your local breweries wherever they are, and most importantly, don't forget to treat yourself to a little Draft Therapy. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Cheers.